Last night I was sitting there thinking, and I was thinking about Tati Westbrook, and I was wondering, did she ever think in a million years when she posted her video about James Charles, did she ever think that this story would blow up to this magnitude and James Charles would be getting the hate that he's currently getting? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, the drama and everything that's going on and try to take this mess and turn it into a message. Because what good is watching all of these videos on YouTube if we're not taking the information and trying to see how we can apply it to our everyday lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, like I mentioned in the intro of this video, I was wondering like, did Tati Westbrook ever think this was gonna happen? Ever in a billion years? Like freaking PewDiePie, the largest creator on the platform, made a video talking about this. James Charles is breaking records for losing the most subscribers. And I don't think she, she was. Like Tati Westbrook seems like a sweet, sweet, sweet woman. And like I mentioned in like my first video on this situation, I believe she just did this because she just felt like she needed to get away from James for her own mental and emotional well-being, and she felt like this was the best way to do it. But yesterday, she actually was vocal about this, and she sent this tweet out. There won't be a video tomorrow. My heart is still too heavy. I feel like I need to remind you that we can hold truth and inspire change without grabbing onto hate. Honor your blessings. Don't abuse them. Celebrating pain will only bring it to your door. Love you guys. See you soon. And yeah, preach, girl. Preach. I'm not into the, you know, I'm not subscribed to, like, makeup channels, but, like, what a what an awesome woman. All right? Like, does she handle this in the best way? I, I personally don't think so. Like, again, like, this blew up way, way, way out of proportion. But I'm glad that she's speaking up and trying to get people to chill out. Like, the magnitude of this thing is absolutely crazy. But the most serious conversation going on, and it might be because of the way that Tati Westbrook worded it about James Charles, is this predatory behavior. So I wanna do this for this video, okay? Like I just want you to just, for a minute, just, just play along with me and try to put yourself in James Charles' shoes and just try to understand what he's going through. So imagine that you're a 19 year old gay man, you're famous and you're richer than you could have ever imagined, all right? Now, something that comes along with this fame and being rich is that anybody that you're attracted to who shows you some attention, you have to wonder, somewhere in your mind, you have to wonder, is this person actually attracted to me or are they trying to come at my fame and my money? So you're this 19 year old rich gay man who has a lot of fame and you flirt with a waiter at a restaurant, all right? He ends up messaging you. He approaches you and through a conversation, you find out that this kid is also bi-curious and he wants to hang out. He comes over to your hotel room and you two make out for an hour, all right? This kid leaves, you have feelings for him, and he ends up messaging you back and saying, you know what, never mind, I'm straight. So then you also have this attractive Instagram model who is also talking to you, and he identifies as straight, but he also tells you that he's bi-curious. You guys flirt with each other, you mess around a little bit, you bring this kid out to Coachella, even though he says he's still on the fence and not really sure, then at Coachella, this kid is showing you more affection, you guys cuddle, you guys kiss, and everything like that. And then after this whole situation, he tells you that he also just realized that he identifies as straight. Now, this is two separate instances where people approached you and you hung out with them. They consented to the, the hooking up, the making out, whatever it was, they consented to this. Then they told you that they were straight, all right? Now, I really want you to think about this for a second. Just really think about this for a second. I don't know how old you are watching this video, but just imagine, just imagine every hookup or breakup that you've ever had being blasted on the internet 
to millions of people. The DMs, people coming out, saying that you're a bad kisser, right? Like, think about that for just a second. Like, I, I was trying to think about this and the embarrassment that I would go through in that situation. And if, and if you, if every, if every hookup or relationship you've ever had has just been the cleanest thing ever, then you go, girl, you go. But just put yourself in James Charles' shoes for just a minute, all right? Now, don't get me wrong. Was James Charles a dick to Tati Westbrook? Yes, but is James Charles a predator? I don't think there's enough evidence out there to say so, all right? The two men who have come forward have shared their stories about how all of this was consensual and James Charles was hurt by this situation. Like, I was just watching a video the other day from another big YouTuber about their breakup. You know what I mean? And like, this is, this is what I, I'm trying to get out there is like, a lot of people want this fame and fortune. They want to be a rich, you know, uh, big YouTuber and everything like that. But just like put yourself in these people's shoes for just a second. And now James Charles is being targeted by cancel culture. Like, and not, and like cancel culture is much worse than those two words can even summarize, all right? Because Tati Westbrook was making a video about how she tried to mentor James and he's kind of a selfish dick right and now people are calling him a predator they're accusing him of things that are so terrible and awful they can put somebody in jail because that is what cancel culture does they take something small and then it explodes and people want to ruin they want to ruin somebody's entire life and entire career. Like, do you guys remember, do you guys remember when Shane Dawson was accused of being a pedophile? Like so many people came out and had that man's back. You know why? Because getting labeled as a pedophile is something that does not go away, all right? That is something that was, was there was a possibility that that label could have stuck to Shane Dawson for the rest of his life because of the allegations. And now people are doing the exact same thing to James Charles. Now, what I want you to think about as well is that James Charles, his mentor was Jeffree Star. One of his mentors was Jeffree Star. I don't know if you've ever met Jeffree Star's boyfriend, Nate, but Nate was a man who identified as straight until Jeffree Star came along, all right? Is it possible, is it possible that James Charles seeing Jeffree Star's relationship with Nate gave him a little bit of hope that maybe he could be attracted to straight men and something would come from it? Is that a possibility, all right? Like, one of the reasons I'm bringing this up is because a very close friend of mine is a gay man. He is a gay man who is married. Now, the man that he is married to was previously married to a woman and they had children together until that man realized that he was gay. Now these two are married uh, and, and like, it's just something that can happen. And this, I'm, I, try to, I try to see the glasses half full. And in this situation, I'm glad that a conversation is being had about sexual orientation, sexual preferences, and all of that. But like, people are looking at this in such a black and white situation, and it's not. Like the two people, the two credible stories that have actually come out are from men who are bi-curious. And like, if you can't understand why James Charles was hurt by that, like, I don't know what to tell you. But my final opinion on that aspect of the whole situation is, like many of us, I just think James Charles is a kid who had a broken picker, or has a broken picker. He keeps going after the wrong type of men. Now, is it possible that he'll find a straight man that was like kind of on the down low and realizes that he's gay and they get married and it's happily ever after? Possibly. But in the coming years, James Charles might also realize that he needs to just start finding other gay men, all right? 
But anyways, anyways, I hope this brought another perspective to you to think about this situation and to think about the, the strong words that people are using against James Charles during all this mess. Like Tati Westbrook said, like don't celebrate the hate that's going around for this kid, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to get your name in the credits, get uh, access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.